Hello, today we will uh, test the new application on Android OS for a monitoring panel uh, in both with using Express E3. So, we open our tablet, open the application GSM panel. So we see up to 100 zones, 20 zones per one page, and we have five pages. As you see, every page has 20 zones. So our work will start with uh, uh, assigning of uh, the device to one of the zones. Let it be zone number one. We put the password of administrator. Uh, so here we have all the settings. First one is zone name. So it will be like office. Press OK. Zone address. Uh, zone address is for those who has an internet connection. So in couple with the Google Maps, it so it just can give you an exact map where the alarm was triggered so we put down the address of our office So press OK. We can also put down some zone notes if we have something to note. Um, below we have zone device settings as we have Express E3 who is a little bit more complicated and in a setup procedure. We will set up Express E3. We choose the device type. Press OK. We put down phone device zone number, international code, uh, zone code, and then the phone number. So press OK. We have also zone activity control. So in case if the zone device is inactive for Sometime we can set up the exact period of alarm triggering in case of the zone is inactive. Below we have uh, zones address on Google Map, so we can on or off it uh, in case if the tablet has a constant internet connection or Wi Fi connection. So here we have owner name, we can with the name of the owner of the location so we put the name okay owner phone number then so in case if you need to put the owner phone number here you put it press ok a uh, security phone number is for those who would like to double the call to a security central station. Uh, auto call security so is an option that makes the exact auto call security to a, to a security central station. Then uh, primary SMS forward phone number. So you can put down the number of the administrator who will monitor the zone. Additional SMS forward phone number. Uh, this option is for, for those who would like to follow the zone's activity uh, among um, the owners maybe. Some additional owners 
not on the administrators. So everything is done. We press assign zone to button. So done. We have a blue indicator disarmed on zone number one. So now we should set up the device Express E3. For that we need to press number one, number one zone, we choose a proc device, it will go to a GS Express GSM configurator, uh, this application should be installed to, the, to your tablet too, as you need it to set up the device. So uh, here you put, on oh, first you put the Express SIM card number, then you put alert number, so let it be uh, the, uh, the so you mean alert numbers, this inside, inside of the tablet. So you choose, yes everything is okay. For photo description you can put down the words like uh, office alarm office alarm uh, you can also find the definition so we'll, cho we'll choose the maximum um, colorful or monochrome let it be colorful you can also choose the quality let it be high quality and you can also ask Express E3 to send more than one photo with a delay of like 6, 9, 12, etc. up to a 30 seconds period. But we will choose make, it, make only one photo. And below we have the main line to sign is receive photo on email. Okay, so Let's put the email. Everything is done. So, for now, we open the cap. I put the battery inside. We wait for three short beeps of entering to programming mode. As soon as it will be emitted, we will press send SMS. Yes, so now we press send SMS. A message was sent. Then Here you will see all the settings for this device as on the right side you have all the events of this GSM panel. In the meantime we can program the remote control so we press A button. Okay the remote control is registered. Uh, so for finish programming mode we press F button and we close the cap. So the settings are finished and now we can pass to another part of our video how to use Express E3 with the GSM panel. Thank you.